Olive was standing in a room with lots of metal boxes making strange wearing noises. There were huge piles of clothes everywhere and she was wearing blue overalls. Just then, a sock flew out of one of the piles, narrowly missing Olive's head. <laughs> exclaimed Olive. Oh, I didn't see you there, said the small man, who'd appeared from behind a mountain of clothes. I'm Dudley Sud. It's a pleasure to meet you. He shook Olive's wing enthusiastically. Hi, Olive. Nice to meet you too. What are all these piles of clothes? Laundry, of course. This is Dudley Sud's laundrette, and we have way too much laundry to do today. Problem is, it's all very important. We must wash all the tablecloths for Pedro's pizza parlour, then wash all the towels for Humphrey's Hotel, and then wash all the football kits for the Wixley Wanderers Football Club. It all needs to be delivered by five o'clock, and it's already half past three. Oh! Well, we'd better get started, then. Dudley showed Olive how to operate the machines. You put the laundry in here, pour in the soap powder and turn the dial like this. Got it! Said Olive confidently. They both worked quickly, loading the machines and setting them going. Olive thought she would pour in a little extra washing powder to get the job done quickly. It all seemed to be going very smoothly. But then, all of a sudden, bubbles started to pour out of one of the machines. Oh dear, oh dear, that's not right! exclaimed Dudley, shaking his head. Well, if you must have put too much washing powder into the machines. The bubbles began to form a puddle on the floor until eventually they covered the whole shop and were still rising. Soon Dudley and Olive were up to their necks in bubbles. Oh no, what are we going to do? Olive spotted some round metal things poking down from the ceiling. What are those for? Those are sprinklers. They spray water all over the place if there's a fire. Some sprinklers? They spray water all over the place? I think I may have an idea. Olive pressed a big red button on the wall to turn the sprinklers on. Water sprayed out everywhere. Oh, no. What have you done now, Olive? You're going to flood me laundrette. That's the idea, Dudley. Now open that door. Dudley, open the door. The bubbles flooded out of the door and into the street. Olive's plan was working. But there was a problem. All the tablecloth towels and football kits were disappearing out of the laundrette and down the street, along with the bubbles. Stop that laundry! shouted Dudley as he and Olive chased the bubbles and the laundry down the street. They chased the laundry past Pedro's pizza oh, parlour. Then on past Humphrey's Hotel. The towels. Then finally past Wixley Wanderers Football Club. Well, I never, said Dudley, as he inspected the football kits hanging on the goal. That was a bit of luck. Yes, said Olive, pointing down the street. And we delivered all the laundry in time. Dudley beamed. Thank you, Olive. I couldn't have done this without you. Working in a laundrette's loads of fun, but it's really hard. I'm feeling all washed out. They both <laughs> laughed, and as they did, Olive realised it was time to go. I can see you're not scary. Whenever I try to make friends, they always... What's happened to your guitar? It's all squish-bushed.